The DRDO is all set to conduct a test of the AD-1 interceptor missile of BMD Phase 2 program against a ballistic missile target at high altitude next week. The Indian Air Force has demanded that HAL should deliver 35 Indian multi-role helicopters per year, for which HAL is going to establish a robotic production line to increase the rate of manufacture. Latest satellite imagery has revealed that the Chinese military have constructed underground bunkers to store weapons and fuel, and hardened shelters for armored vehicles, at a base on the northern shore of Pangong Lake. A battalion of Sikkim Scouts and 150 Quick Reaction Force Battalion of the Mongolian Army are carrying out tactical drills under the ongoing 16th edition of Exercise Nomadic Elephant. Sri Lanka has decided to lift the ban on the visit of foreign research ships from next year, that will allow docking of high-tech Chinese surveillance vessels. The Border Security Force has installed artificial intelligence-enabled cameras and facial recognition tools along the India-Bangladesh border. A senior DRDO scientist has said that the indigenous AIP system is ready, that will be fitted on board INS Calvary next year. The DRDO is developing a dedicated naval application for the Tapis drone. Iranian ambassador to India has said that India has agreed to invest $120 million in Iran's Chabahar port project. India will host the Malabar naval exercise with the other Quad countries in the Bay of Bengal in October. The RDO has made significant progress in the submarine-launched cruise missile program, and while the latest version boasts a range of 500 km, reports indicate that the work is underway to increase its range to 1,000 km. The submarine-launched cruise missile weighs 975 kg, offering a well-balanced combination of range and payload capacity. It has a diameter of 505 mm, which contributes to its stealth profile, making it harder to detect by enemy radar systems. The SLCM is equipped with a penetrating compartment bomb and airburst warhead, providing operational flexibility to tackle diverse targets and maximize impact. It has high-speed performance of 0.7 Mach, and follows a low-altitude trajectory to evade radar detection. The Indian Navy's plan to acquire additional P-8I long-range maritime patrol aircraft has been put on hold, and instead, the Navy has opted to procure nine new medium-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft based on the Airbus C-295 transport platform for meeting the immediate needs. The Navy is also collaborating with the DRDO to explore the possibility of building a larger platform based on Boeing 737 next-generation aircraft that will surpass the capabilities of the P-8I in terms of range and payload. The DRDO is developing a dedicated naval application for the TAPAS UAV, that includes a plug-in ASA radar and other advanced systems, that will have the ability to detect and track both surface and subsurface vessels, and will be deployed at a strategic naval airbase in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The deal for six units to the Air Force and four units to the Navy will be signed later this year, and deliveries are anticipated by early 2026, and entire procurement process will be concluded by late 2027. The Indian Navy is currently exploring the procurement of 15 Camcopter S-100 rotary unmanned aerial system for ISR missions in the Indian Ocean region. Austrian company C. Bell has partnered with India's VEM Technologies, to start license production of the S-100 unmanned system within India. It can be operated in day and night with pre-programmed GPS waypoints, or can be operated directly, under adverse weather conditions with a range of 200 kilometers. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>